Welcome to this educational program on hair alcohol testing presented by Biopharma Institute. My name is Dr. Al Rajakas, Director of Strategic and Technical Marketing at Biopharma Institute. I am your presenter today with a simple general overview of the basics of hair alcohol testing. For this program, we've established a number of learning objectives. When we get to the end of this presentation, you will know how hair alcohol testing is used and the types of testing available, the pros and cons of using saliva, urine, and hair for assessing alcohol use, a little bit on hair biology basics, the differences between our legal and personal hair test options, how hair testing is performed in the lab, and how hair test results are interpreted and what they may mean. Biopharma Institute offers hair alcohol testing to provide insights into a person's history of alcohol consumption during a window of one to six months after the alcohol has been consumed. So let's start by understanding what alcohol abuse is or how it may be defined. How much alcohol do you have to consume in order to have a problem? Of course, the effects of alcohol on individuals can vary, but there are some accepted standards. The World Health Organization, WHO, defines alcohol abuse as alcohol consumption that exceeds 60 grams of alcohol per day. You can see examples of different types of alcoholic beverages and the corresponding alcohol amounts. On average, a drink corresponds to eight grams of alcohol. So consuming seven to eight alcoholic drinks per day on a consistent basis can constitute alcohol abuse. Biopharma Institute offers two different hair tests that are optimized for different time periods. For periods consisting of the past two to six months, the FAEE or fatty acid ethyl ester test can assess alcohol consumption here. For periods of three months or less, the ETG or ethyl glucuronide test can assess alcohol consumption in these situations. What about testing saliva or urine? Those specimens can be useful, but they have definite limitations and are best used to assess alcohol that may be in the system at the time of the test. Saliva can only be used up to six hours, urine for periods four hours to eight days. Neither saliva nor urine can be tested in a way that provides retrospective results. Hair testing provides the longest testing window, up to six months, and is most useful when the decision to test is made at a point after the alcohol has been consumed. So to summarize the benefits of hair alcohol testing, they include establishing a timeline of alcohol abuse from one to six months using a non-invasive testing procedure. Hair testing provides a longer detection window than with urine, blood, or saliva. Alcohol testing can help identify persistent alcohol levels, which may induce or result in other medical problems. So let's take a look at how hair physiology impacts alcohol testing. Hair grows at approximately one centimeter or 0.4 inch per month. As it grows, byproducts of alcohol metabolism are deposited along the hair shaft. These metabolic products from hair clippings cannot be detected until hair grows out a bit, typically two to four weeks. The distance from the scalp that the hair sample is taken can provide an estimate of the approximate time period of alcohol consumption. These deposited substances are relatively stable to hair treatments, cosmetics, and sunlight. There are some factors to consider which can affect hair alcohol testing. Ethanol exposure from the environment, including alcohol abstainers, can be present in hair as FAEE ethanol metabolites, leading to a possible false positive result. Washout can affect the presence of ETG ethanol metabolites, 
leading to a possible false negative result. Using both ETG and FAEE tests are complementary and provide the most comprehensive picture for assessing the alcohol use situation. So how does one decide between hair testing for legal or personal purposes? The legal test is comprehensive in the types of situations the lab results may support. There is a chain of custody process to ensure that the hair sample comes from an individual whose identity has been verified and the hair sample is not subject to tampering anywhere along the testing process. If you have a simple need to assess possible alcohol use or abuse, a personal test may be adequate. You are responsible for the collection of the hair sample and sending it off to the lab. There is no authentication of the person providing the hair sample being tested, unlike the case with the legal version of the test. Just to reiterate, chain of custody and sample integrity is critical for certain situations, such as employment checks or documentation for legal proceedings. It is also important to document any details in a person's medical history or use of hair products, which may affect hair test results. Let's talk about the lab testing process for a minute. The metabolites of ethanol in the body that are taken up by hair are extracted from hair samples during the testing process. The extracts are analyzed using a process called mass spectroscopy. Large molecules are broken down with electron beams in a vacuum to create smaller chemical fragments. It is these smaller chemical fragments that can be detected and quantified. Test results are quantitative and reported in units of picograms per milligram. It is important to consider external factors which may affect the presence of alcohol metabolites in hair specimens, including use of certain hair products and or environmental exposure. This chart shows ETG and FAEE test results with three different ranges shaded in green, yellow, and red. The Society of Hair Testing has established various cutoff values for different stages of alcohol consumption, including abstinence, repeated alcohol consumption, or chronic excessive alcohol consumption. These values help provide a context in which the test results can be related to the patient being tested. Please note that the Society of Hair Testing guidelines were updated in 2016 to use ethyl palmitate only as the metabolite to establish FAEE levels. The interpretation of hair testing results can be complicated and confusing, particularly to someone not skilled in this area. At times, test results may not be conclusive of alcohol use or abstinence for a particular time period. Biopharma Institute has experts available for written, live video, or in-person testimonials who can help correlate test results and levels of alcohol consumed. In summary, we have discussed the following topics. Hair alcohol testing is a valuable tool for determining alcohol abuse or to confirm abstinence. There are two different hair tests, FAEE and ETG, which provide different time windows into alcohol use. Hair samples provide the longest alcohol detection period, up to six months, compared to saliva or urine. Hair testing can be done for either legal or personal reasons. Chain of custody ensures the authenticity of hair samples coming from persons of interest. The hair testing process in the lab detects metabolites of alcohol which are incorporated into hair as it grows. And expert testimonials may be helpful in properly interpreting test results. I hope this presentation has been informative and useful. If you have any questions on any of the content in this presentation or for more details on hair alcohol testing, visit our website at abusecheck.com, send us an email or call us. Specific contact options are shown on this slide. Thank you for your time and attention.